Welcome to another video in the account determination for sales and distribution in SAP. In the video today, I will explain how to determine different GL accounts for different sales conditions using the account key. So I will go through the process and then I will explain the configuration steps in SAP s This video is a part of the playlist explaining the account determination for sales and distribution. And to fully understand the video, you have to watch the playlist from the beginning. I will leave you a link here. The account determination in sales and distribution gives us the option to determine different GL accounts based on the different sales conditions that we use in the sales order. And to do this, we use an account key. So now I will give you an example and then I will go into the configuration steps. So for the example, I will start by creating a sales order. Transaction VA01, order type OR, and then fill all the details. Insert the customer number. Customer reference. The material I'm selling today is this one, 506, and I will sell 50 pieces. Then let's go into the conditions. Here we have the price condition. Then we also have the cash discount. This one is related to the payment term, as I explained before. And we have the internal price. This one is showing the cost of the item. Now I'm going to add two more uh, conditions so we can use them in our example. So for example, let's use uh, customer material discount and also customer discount, enter. So for the customer material, I will have one EUR discount per one piece. So the total is 50 EUR and I will also add 2% customer discount. Now this is our sales order, we are going to sell the items for 1000 EUR, but also the net is 931 after the discounts, and the cost is 1566, which means we are losing money. So let me change the price just to have a realistic example. So let's say I will sell one piece for 40 EUR. Okay, so now we are selling the items for 1911 and the cost is 1,566. So we have a profit margin of 345, which is okay. Now I'm going to save and move to the next step, which is posting the goods issue and the outbound delivery. The transaction is VL01N, shipping point 1034. And then the selection date this item will be shipped in 20 seconds. And we have the order number, enter. So here is our order. And again, I will go to picking. I already explained all of this in the other videos before. AG11, and the picked quantity is 50. Save. Now I will go into change, outbound delivery change, and post goods issue. Let's look into the financial entry. So here is our goods issue, display, financial documents, accounting document. And there's our financial entry. We have a debit to cost of goods sold and a credit to the inventory with the cost of the item. Now let's move to the next step. I'm going to post the billing document, slash in VF01. Here is our outbound delivery number, enter. This is our billing document for 50 pieces, post. Document has been saved. Now let's display this billing document. And go into the financial entry. So what do we have here? We have a debit to our customer for 1,900. We have a credit to the sales revenue account. This is the price condition, PR00 that we, has in, we had in the sales order, and it has the full value, 50 multiplied by how many pieces did we sell? Ah, we sold, we sold 50 pieces multiplied by 40 EUR each. This is why we have 50 multiplied by 40, it is 2000. And then we have the two uh, sales discounts we added. So we added one discount of one EUR per piece, so the total is 50 EUR, and we added another discount of 2% of the total value, and this is 39 EUR. And as you see here, 
we have one account for the sales revenue we have one account used for both the sales discounts so what I will be doing in the video today is I'm going to change the configuration so each discount goes to a different GL account and we can do this using the account key so let's go into the configuration and look on how this can be configured the configuration is in SPRO so slash O S P R O this is the same configuration menu I used when I explained the process in the beginning so we will go into sales and distribution basic functions account assignment costing revenue account determination and here we have this define and assign account keys so I will create a new account key now define account keys and let's say so as you see the account key is a very simple thing it's just a key and a description it doesn't have any configuration inside it but after this we will use it to assign a GL account to this key and then assign the key to a condition and this way the condition will be linked to the GL account let me show you how this works so for my example I will use ZG3 and ZG4 so this is demo key 3 and demo key 4 save then in the next step I'm going to assign this key to the sales condition assign account keys here we start by selecting which pricing procedure we are using in our example to find out this go back to the billing document and go to conditions click on analysis and this will show which pricing procedure we are using so the one we are using is RVAA01 now let me go back to the configuration and here I will look for RVAA01 and then the conditions we were using are these two so we have the customer material and the customer discount as you see both of them are assigned to the same account key now this is why in the financial entry both of them go to the same GL account now I will change this to add my own account key so ZG3 and ZG4 then save now after this all we need to do now is assign the GL accounts very simple so go to assign GL accounts I already explained this transaction before this is the famous VKOA transaction now I will maintain the GL account with the account key in the different condition tables I know that in my example SAP is accessing this one because I don't have a material group so I will maintain it here and I already explained all of these values before so the one I'm looking for is VKOFI chart of account INT AG00 and enter so this is the account that we had in our financial entry which is assigned to the account key ERS and this is the account now I'm going to add two different entries so I will copy this one to uh, assign them to ZG03 sorry ZG3 and I will keep this one with the same old GL account and I'm going to add the other line so copy again ZG4 and this one I will assign to a different account so I already created this one which is the same but I changed it the last number so now we have two different accounts so if you check here we have one account assigned to ZG3 and the other assigned to ZG4 now let's go back to our billing document but before we do this let me save the configuration so now we are done with the configuration let's go back to the billing document and I'm going to cancel this billing document and post it again so we can see the new financial entry billing document cancel and save now the billing document has been cancelled let's repost it so again go to transaction VF01 and insert the outbound delivery enter post now let's check the new financial entry so display accounting accounting document 
Now, as you see this time, we have exactly the same financial entry, but the only difference is we have two different GL accounts here. So the price condition is still going to the same account. We didn't change this, the sales revenue, but the two discounts, one of them is going to other sales deduction. The other is going to sales discount. And these accounts are coming from the account key that we assigned to the conditions. I hope you found the video useful and easy to understand. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. Leave me your comments if you have any questions and share the video with your network. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.